my protein intake a day is 224 grams this egg four eggs is 345 grams i can't do this honestly guys i really just picked up my camera and decided to make a video i don't really have any topic to talk about but i just wanted to vlog today first win today made my bed you know what i'm saying like it just puts me in a very happy mood so i'm making my bed I know this is meant to be a day in your life, but this part is a lie. I don't do this every morning, but I do it like some mornings. I was like five pull-ups, literally just like five. To warm my muscle up. Two, three, four, five. And I have a pull-up bar here. Just, you know, I'm not going to my closet. It's right here. I just do like five. So five, 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 like over six months to accumulate into something. So now we're about to go to the gym and today's leg day. I'm trying to get more comfortable filming in the gym as well. So let's go do some legs. I'm planning on squatting 315 again. I did 315 for five. Yes, I know, I'm proud of myself too. And also I'm cutting right now. So that's pretty impressive for me because right now I'm like 180. Well, I woke, up to, I woke up today at 185, but usually I'm like 180. So usually I do not eat anything before I go train, but today's leg day. So we're not about to get take that risk so and honestly guys i do have a measuring scale i do need to start measuring my food and weigh my food just to like track it better and just like just having the knowledge of knowing how to measure and weigh food will be very important for me so um i bought a scale i did buy a scale actually i want to show you guys so yeah so i did buy a scale and honestly i didn't, don't even know how to use it yet so i'm gonna go on youtube and teach myself how to use it and start implementing it as soon as possible but i also need to go grocery shopping because my coach for my competition gave me a bunch of food to eat i'm going to ask him if i can like make my own kind of food but like still kind of fit into the scale thing so we're going to crack four whole eggs into the frying pan we're going to wait for it to get hot first so we're going to crack four whole eggs there then we're going to season it with um, some lemon pepper and cayenne pepper just those two so, I'm going for instance to get hot a little bit. So when it gets hot, we're gonna add eggs in there. Basically, just gonna, I'm basically just gonna eat it sunny side up. I don't know when the yolk is still there, sir. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, boom. So I think it's ready. So we're going to grab our egg right here. Fuck! That was the ugliest <laughs> crack ever. Then we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of cayenne pepper in there. That's the egg, bro. I'm trying to flip it with the camera on my hand. I don't think it's ready to be flipped yet. Ah, I cut it. But yeah, I'm gonna show you when the breakfast is done. I'm gonna show you the actual plate. Um, but you guys get the idea of how I cook prepared the food. Just crack it in there, uh, spray some, not spray, add some ingredients, so like spices you want. I'm gonna eat that with like three loaves of bread or two loaves of bread. And yeah, that's gonna be my breakfast. And boom, magically like that's so why just in the gym for leg day. Ready to eat our breakfast, so you know we're primed, ready, carved up, ready to go, ready to kill this workout. Oh my god, oh my god, stretching. Stretching is very important. I don't care how you guys stretch, I don't care what you guys do for stretching, just stretch, get this get those joints loose, because last thing you want to do is not train <laughs> because of like an injury due to you not stretch. Do what you gotta do type shit. And let's get this workout in. So guys, I'm going to realize that I'm not gonna record all my sets now. I just like record the ones that make sense. I feel like recording a lot of sets is just gonna be too like unnecessary. Yo, who the fuck uses a phone? I like starting my workout to like the hardest moments of the day. Of the day. So squats is gonna be like the hardest moments I do before like any other walking movements. So I'm gonna do squats and I'm gonna move on to leg press and extensions. I'm not gonna lie, I'm going to do legs today based off how I feel. Yo, when you're squatting guys, take your shoes off man. You don't want this rubbery stuff to like affect your, your squats. We're feeling good about today's lift. Let's try it to 25 on there. Oh. That way. I want to advocate for protecting yourself when working out. I like come to the gym early. There's literally no one here. Well, people are here, but not like enough to make me like awkward and nervous. I don't really care about these guys, to be honest. Just here to lift my shit. Moment of truth. 3:15 is going up for a spin. 
Let's say this. My PR for this is five reps. So many reps can get today. Yes. Ooh. I just smashed my PR to 15 for six side. Wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's relax. Let's relax. Let's relax. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm bitching out. That wait is not going to go anywhere. I am bitching the fuck out. I am bitching the fuck out. There's no way I'm moving it. This is one that I just also recently just started doing like as of a couple of months back. How this feels. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I actually like this machine. Leg extensions, I like this machine because usually when you can't go like up here, you can just like go partially, just like wrap it up. Okay. You see my bad, you see your bad. Anytime I'm bad, I'm not with that. No rubber band, no rubber band. Every time I'm with that, they show me bad. Okay, okay. Okay, that's my max. That's the max I go today. Go back to 190. So I just got back from the gym and we are eating. So I ate two slices of bread again. And we have chicken breast in here and salad. So two slices of bread, chicken breast and salad. This is my post-workout meal. I'm going to lie, when I, I've already eaten stuff like that, I already feel full and I don't want to eat again for the rest of the day. That's why I want to start tracking my food so I can know exactly, okay, I'm still below my calorie intake for today if I'm trying to, you know, lose weight or gain weight. I still know, like, the amount of calories I'm, I'm still eating, but now I can't really track it. I'm just eating and eyeballing it. In my head, I'm like, oh, I'm eating only protein, but this protein can count as calories as well, and you can gain weight from that as well if you're trying to gain weight. But if you're trying to be a deficit, you have to not like, really proportion your food. So I will eat this, then, Probably going to go to sleep there, start doing some work as well. But yeah. yeah, I have no idea where that last video stopped. I'm not gonna hold you, but welcome to another video. Um, so today we're going to start tracking our food for real, for real, for real, because we can't compete and not just and slack on that part. So yesterday was crazy. You have to give me an excuse because I literally ate a lot. I think I ate about 5,000 calories yesterday at least. So I woke up this morning feeling I wasn't heavy, but you know, body dysmorphia type shape. We're going to hit legs today. I'm not never tracked my food before, so it's gonna be first experience with you guys. Very intimate moment for me and you, you know, tracking our food, learning stuff together. You see, this is why I do this shit for you. I bet. Gus got here to crunch fitness, and yeah, this is a beautiful part about fitness. You can just try out different gyms, and you know, so you won't get bored type shit. That's oh, why I'm here. Now nah, I'm just gonna show you guys inside and the workout. <laughs> actually like very very beautiful and amazing like I actually like the ambience colors this is just too far for me and I don't want to like start paying like two memberships for like two different gyms doesn't make sense to me so, yeah, I'm so gassed about this new gym and you guys don't understand how gassed I am to be working out here like oh, this is heavy you see my bitch say she had bad anytime I knock I knock with that rubber band no rubber band Every time I put down, they show me that. If I know loud, she got my back. I don't even go. I'm happy that. Isn't why we're here? Sports, baby. Anything I saw where you talk. Oh, so my PR for T15 is five, six. We're gonna try and do seven today. Let's see how that looks. Yo, I'm comfortable recording in the gym. That's crazy, bro. Like, I'm not looking around as much. I'm not looking like directly at the camera type shit. So. This is good, this is good progress.
phone, I got options And I don't wanna tell you to drop me But I don't wanna play your fair, yeah Something that makes me look at you too often oh, Baby, you can give it something Baby, I can run all the time Yep, so that's it for me. Crunch Fitness done. I'm about to go eat. I actually don't know what I'm about to eat. I'm about to go eat some. I'm about to track that shit if I eat it though. This is the beginning of hell. Let's see how it goes. But yeah, Crunch Fitness is a dope gym. Definitely like a man to attend. I wouldn't be coming here often because it's definitely far, too far away from where I live. I just like to get in the gym and get out. So, you're gonna see me or come here like once in a while. Random, random vlog. I know like this vlog is all over the place, but I just end up shooting a kind of like a viral video for Flavor, which is an Nigerian artist with my friend Aaron. Aaron is like a very good videographer. He's about to get into the car now, so just like, guess up three, two, one. Aaron, my guy. Oh, yeah, we're in the vlog. Oh, yeah, we're yes, in the sir. vlog. We're in the vlog. Come on, hang out with those guys. Money just comes, so I'm like, I don't even know, like, it just always happens. Wow, nigga is lying Thank out of you his so ass. Much, bro. Yeah, so everyone's a, um, a very dope videographer. Do you take pictures yes, too? Nah. At all. I don't even know how to snap. Oh, man. Man. If this guy ain't that picture, he has <laughs> taken the whole bread. <laughs> I'm man. a very much Black Panic fanatic. <clears throat> Not that shitty ass camera you got over there. So tell us about, like, what are you doing, like, in Dallas and shit? Bro, I'm a full time cinematographer. Um, videographer, you know, editor too. Would you consider like a director as well? Yeah, I do okay. a lot of directing, but I kind of enjoy being behind the camera too. So yeah. that's why I just kind of go for the being the behind the camera role. Yeah, parts are like trying to look for gigs face. Oh, yeah. Where it's like, damn, yeah. I didn't want to do this gig. Yeah. So like when, when that moment happened, how did it feel and like, how does it feel now just like yeah, constantly up. getting wow. gigs? <laughs> bro, I know it's crazy. I was thinking about this earlier on this, this month. I was like, yeah. bro, this whole year, I didn't post on Instagram once. What? Not one post. Probably That's like, crazy. Okay, I did Burner Boy early on in the year, and that yeah. was pretty much it. But like none of my actual work. Yep. And Where? I was still booked out, and I'm not accepting gigs for the wow. rest of December. Like so, like so you are booked out to the rest of to the December, end. To the rest of the year. In a week, like how many bookings are you, Bro, do you, get, like, are you getting? I have four shoots. To get, so, so you're booked yeah. four times, four times a week to the yeah. end of the year. Yeah. Wow. See, from from this de December first, we're going to Miami. Yeah. We come back on the eighth. Then on the eighth to ninth. Guys, he's not he's not lying though. He's actually not lying. That shit is crazy. It's crazy, bro. But like, but it's a blessing, good. man. You feel so me? Like, yeah. it's hard work, bro. Like, I'm a, I don't do free shoes, Taya. Yeah. I don't do free shoes. I've worked for every like I've had a lot of mentors. Yeah. Like a lot of people. My first ever concert. Let me tell y'all a secret, right? Like, my after my first concert, my mm -hmm. second concert, which was Whiskey, yeah. he put me on. Ah, nigga, just like, nah, nah, <laughs> no, 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 yeah, no, no. Right, cool, cool, like, cool. Yeah. I, Somebody sent you my gram. They yeah. hit me up like, hey. Nah, you because you nah, because I was looking for videographers in Dallas. Yeah. And yeah. everybody I hit up yeah. was sent A1. But I never everybody was. But I everybody, that was my second concert. Everybody was sent A1. Was like, okay, bet. Let me <laughs> fucking hit this A1 guy up, and that's how. Yeah. You know, I, she did, happened. I did a whole lot of other things. Like I did yeah. events, and but like concerts never really like interested me like that. But yeah. now in Dallas. There's no Afrobeat artist that's touched down, and I don't, them, I don't them, get that idea. Them, so, them, so, them born there, bro. Now you start my. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah. young, but yeah, so like ambitious. Because a lot of young guys are not, are not thinking like, like, okay, how can I use what I yeah. like and feel it to make money? Even if it's like, it might be stressful. Imagine not posting on Instagram for a year and still be booked. Bro, no. that's a blessing. And, like, and that's, that's a fucking like blessing, it's, it's bro. Connections, bro. Like, yeah. you have to build. Like everybody, you don't know who you are meeting. Right? Exactly. So, bro, build yourself all this uh, social media. I hear all these, oh, post four times a day. It's good, though. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, go. I like post your post. Yeah. But, like, bro, you don't need it, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm a living testimony. Like, you can really just focus on connection with people. Yeah. Meeting anybody you meet, make it a connection. Like, yeah. Make it a meaningful meeting. And voila, bro, watch it take off. Yeah, pinpoint on that, and that is what you are literally, literally going to do. But me, I'm like, okay, let me test this out, let me test it out, let me yeah. test it out then, you know. 
come back. Wrong there yeah, too, nothing, yeah, nothing is wrong right. there too. But yeah, man, this is my boy Aaron. I don't know what we're about to do right now, but we're about to go to the mall. We might go to the mall. We'll yeah. share with flavor. If you know what flavor is, yeah. I think you're, you're basically famous official yeah. videographer. Pretty much. Pretty right. much. In yeah. So in charge of so all like content, that. you know what I'm saying? So tap with my boy Aaron. Yes, sir. You're gonna be seeing more from him very soon. Guys, this is like three days after I recorded that vlog of tracking my food, and I still haven't had time to probably show you guys how to track my food but i promise i'll show you guys today i still haven't eaten today i have something else to do i'm gonna get back i'm gonna eat i'm gonna show you guys how i track my food <sighs> it's long i had to search a lot on youtube about how to do it because i honestly didn't know how to do it for the longest time but yeah we're gonna track our food today run some errands and you know the regular shit so as you guys know i'm competing and my first time competing, my coach told me to track my food. I'm like so confused because I've never even, I don't track my food. I usually just eyeball it and I just know, like, okay, yes, this is what I'm eating for today. So I have my fitness for PAL. He told me to download my fitness PAL. I would advise you guys to pay for the premium on my fitness PAL. I think it's like $80 a year. Trust me, you spend $80 doing stupid shit. Just pay for that in a year. Know that you're okay. And it also comes with like all that. Uh, interesting tools like I saw like videos on like how to stretch which like are really helpful for me this is not a, this is not sponsored by the way um so my, fit my fitness pal has a thing where you can track your macros so my coach gave me like okay nothing a day you should eat 264 grams of carbohydrates 70 grams of fat and 238 grams of protein I'm like, I don't understand what that means to be honest. So what I did was I went on Google to research on how to do it. I don't want to be asking him questions back and forth like that, even if I paid him to coach, but I just like finding out by myself. So basically he's making me track my macronutrients by giving me the protein, fats, and carbs. Macronutrients is a bulk term for the three types of nutrients that make up the bulk of what we eat. So carbs, fat, and protein. So that's all we're tracking our carbs, fat and protein okay so macronutrients is carbs fat and protein bets we're getting somewhere um they say alcohol also has some macro macronutrients but it's not considered good micronutrients which is like your vitamins and minerals hmm okay makes sense makes sense makes sense basically he's saying you can eat whatever carb you want you can eat whatever fat you want you can eat whatever protein you want but you must eat 200 and x grams of this in a day but so how am i going to split this now in a whole day i don't know so and to track it there's just log in whatever you eat in my fitness power for the whole day and to make sure you are really hitting your daily goal so now we're going to cook four whole eggs which i don't know i'm going to check my fitness power how many calories that is but i don't need to check that because i'm only tracking my macros so we're going to cook four whole eggs and yeah we're going to see how we can feel that into them macros and shape and also i was actually confused on if i should track if i should weigh my food cooked or uncooked so after doing a lot of youtube research as well i think i was going to weigh them i'm going to wait after i cooked it because apparently i think it loses weight or it adds weight after you cook it something like that i'm also going to add like peppers and stuff to my egg but i'm not going to weigh that because i don't feel like i'm, not, I'm just not going to wait okay I honestly don't know why we thought I thought it was gonna be cool to cook with my shirt off because that shit almost burnt the hell out of me. I'm gonna do that. Mmm. This smells good. No protein goes wasted. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So this is us over here. We have the food. So we're gonna attempt to just weigh this on the scale. So we're going to make the scale. We're gonna turn it on. It's on zero, but it's on OZ. Right now it's on zero grams. Well, I think the air has weight, but <laughs> then we're gonna clear it out. Zero grams, right? I think we're meant to I think I was meant to weigh the plate first. How am I gonna do this? Okay, so take it out and weigh the plate first, then put the egg on it. Yes, that's enough. So sorry guys, <laughs> first time doing this, sorry. We weigh this. We're gonna put it in here. We're gonna weigh this first. Okay, we're gonna weigh this first. Okay, but this is 27 grams, so you're gonna press, you're gonna tee it. Is it? Gonna zero it again. Minus 20, it's showing minus 27 grams because I teed it. So now it's showing just the weight of this. And now I'm gonna leave this on here. I'm gonna add the egg in it. In it. <laughs> now we are sitting at 345 grams. Isn't that my whole protein for the day? 
Did I fit five grams? Wait, hold on. I mean, I mean, I meant to take how many? Oh my god, this guy set me up. My protein intake a day is 224 grams. This egg, four eggs is 345 grams. I can't do this. But yeah guys, this is gonna be my breakfast. I'm gonna eat this with two slices of bread. Oh my god, yeah, this is this is torture. This is actually torture. Okay, where the bread in it? <laughs> this is sad. Tell you guys, I'm just baffled about this whole actually wearing your food thing like i've never done it before so okay so i'm gonna eat this hey guys i just realized i kind of overreacted before so i actually miscalculated the egg things they put a brand of the egg so it comes in like four and i put like four sevens times four seven so 16 seven so i miscalculated in the last one the accurate one now so we're actually on track 18 grams left of protein i have 50 grams left of fast and i have 248 grams left of carbohydrates so yeah i overreacted my first time you know i didn't want to like go crazy but yeah so i can actually eat everything now <laughs> Does it make sense now? Come on. So I'm gonna eat all this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna lug in my bread. <laughs> I'm gonna eat four. Let me see. What kind of bread is this? Oh guys, also she went into the trash can to dig that up. Then also scan the barcode of the food as well. My fitness part is so cool. So I'm just gonna scan the barcode of this. Uh one slice is <coughs> 70 calories. So I'm gonna do I had one two three four four slices okay we're still doing good i've um i have one gen and six cal um, carbs left i see i have a good amount of protein and fat so yeah we're doing good we're tracking our food we're tracking our food we're tracking our food this is fun this is fun this is something new this is good to me i like it i like it i like it i like it let's go let's go
honestly don't know why we thought I thought it was gonna be cool to cook my shirt off because that shit almost burnt the hell out of me. I'm gonna do that. Mmm. This smells good. No protein goes wasted. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So this is us over here. We have the food. So we're gonna attempt to weigh this. Thank you. 